Are you tired of running into issues because a Python module isn't installed? It can be a real headache, especially when you want your code to run smoothly on any computer. Today, we're going to tackle how to check if a module is installed in Python and how to install it if it's not. I totally get it. You want your code to work seamlessly without unnecessary clutter. It's frustrating when you have to deal with installation errors or when your program tries to install modules that are already there. You're definitely not alone in this. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked how to install the modules Mutagen and GTTS in their code, but only if they aren't already installed. They want to avoid cluttering the start of their program with unnecessary installations. Sound familiar? Let's dive into this together. So what's the issue here? When you try to install a module that's already present, it can lead to unnecessary delays and clutter in your code. We need a way to check for the module's existence before attempting to install it. This will keep your code clean and efficient. And stick around. I have a great tip at the end that will help you streamline your Python projects even further. To begin, the user should check if the required modules, Mutagen and GTTS, are already installed. This can be done using a try accept block to handle any import errors. If the modules are not installed, the user can define a function to install them. This function will use the subprocess module to run the installation command. Next, the user should call the install function for each module only if the import fails. This ensures that the installation only occurs when necessary. Finally, the user can proceed with their code after ensuring that the modules are installed. This way, the program remains clean and efficient. Fun fact, Python was named after the British comedy group Monty Python, so it's only fitting that we keep our coding fun and lighthearted. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach shared by another user involves using the import lib module to check if the packages are installed. They suggest creating a list of your desired packages and using a list comprehension to install any that are not found. That's all on that answer. Let's take a look at another one. An alternative approach shared by a user involves checking if a module is installed using the command line. You can run Python M my module to see if the module exists. If you want to manage your modules more effectively, they suggest using pip freeze to create a requirements file. This file will list all the modules in your Python installation. Then, you can use pip install its rrequirements.txt to install the necessary modules automatically. That's it for that response. Let's explore another one. Another user suggests a different approach. They recommend using a try and accept block for your import statements. If the import works, the module is already installed. If it fails, you can catch the exception and then run the installation command. Let's move forward and look at another answer. An alternative approach suggested by a user is to check if a module is installed using Python's idle. They recommend opening idle, navigating to file, then open module and selecting the desired module. If the module is installed, it will display. If not, an error message will appear. That's it for that response. Let's explore another one. An alternative approach shared by another user is to check if a module is installed using the command pip show package name. For a broader view, you can use pip list to see all installed packages. Here's the tip I promised. Always check for module installations at the start of your scripts. This simple habit can save you from a lot of headaches down the line. And there you have it. You now know how to check if a module is installed in Python and how to install it if it's not. Keep your code clean and efficient. If you found this helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more coding tips and tricks.